Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another battle vid. Now this one is quite self-evident. This is the iPhone XS Max versus the Galaxy Note 9 gigabit LTE speeds. Yes, the last time we did this, we did it with the Galaxy Note 9 and the iPhone 10, and the iPhone 10 got smacked. Apple says this device has gigabit LTE, so we should see something that performs. It's got 4x4 MIMO, it's got LAA, and I could explain all that to you, but seriously, just go ahead and check out the Unlockers video on what Gigabit LT is all about. It does a fantastic breakdown, better than what I'll do in this short segment. So without any further ado, we're gonna compare both devices together. Now, we're kind of, we're mirroring the same uh, situations we did last time with the iPhone 10 versus the Galaxy Note 9 with this video where we're comparing both the iPhone 10s Max and the Galaxy Note 9. And we're gonna be doing it in a couple of ways. So we're gonna have four tests. The first test is gonna be in the morning. I ran it the day I received the device. Uh, so basically around 11.20. The second test will be in the afternoon, around 2.30. The third test is at 7 p.m. And the fourth test, it will be outdoors, aka on my roof, at around 1, 2 a.m. in the morning. Now the idea there, of course, is because less people are using the network, also less interference from my apartment and all the tech I have, so I should get the best speeds, speeds I should get in this neighborhood. Now, we're connecting to the same source. It's called City Bridge, the location. Also, we are using the same network, T-Mobile, for both devices, so making it fair and even. Without any further ado, let's jump in. So starting off at 11 a.m., uh, running three tests for each device. Starting off with the iPhone XS Max, the first test we are running here, um, we are doing downloads closer to about, let's see, it's pushing it, it's pushing it, it's pushing it a little bit, 43.8 for downloads, not bad. This already is much better than what we saw last time from at least the iPhone 10, with the uploads of 35.4. Now the Galaxy Note 9 is doing 55.2 for downloads, and uploads, we're looking at that, it's gonna get in the second, 37.1. So Galaxy, of course, is taking the lead. That Snapdragon 845 processor, uh, Gigabit LTE, does a fantastic job. Now the iPhone XS Max, it also has Gigabit LTE 54.5 for downloads. Uploads are 35.1. And the Galaxy Note 9 is doing downloads on the second run at 58.7 and uploads at 33.3. .3. So. As you can see here, the Galaxy is leading over on the uploads. It's it's slightly behind the second test. Now for downloads on the third test, 40.6 for the iPhone and uploads of 41.7. While the Galaxy Note 9 is doing 47.4 for downloads and uploads, we're looking at 34.0. So Galaxy is has won this round, 11 a.m. to Galaxy. Now at 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon, is there more congestion? Well, it doesn't look like it because the iPhone XS Max speeds are cranking up and it's at 48.2 for downloads for this first run and 38.2 for uploads. The Galaxy Note 9 is doing 63.7 for downloads and uploads at 33.0. So lower upload speed, but much higher downloads. Now for the second run, the Apple iPhone XS Max is doing 60.7 uh, for downloads and 40.9 for uploads. Let's see what the Galaxy does. Well, 52.9 for downloads on the Galaxy Note 9 and uploads are, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Uh, well, well, it's 31.7. So Galaxy loses the second round here at 2.30 p.m on both ends, both downloads and uploads. Now on the third round here, the iPhone XS Max is pushing 57.3 for downloads and uploads at 40.3. And the Galaxy Note 9 here is doing 57.1, uh, slightly lower than what Apple did for downloads. And uploads, we are looking at 35.1. So it looks like Apple won two rounds there at 2.30 p.m. 7.15, 7.15, everyone's back from work, at home, what do we get here? Uh, so we might get some congestions, who knows, we're not sure, but the iPhone XS Max does 40.7 for downloads in the first run and 42.1 for uploads. While the Galaxy Note 9 does 56.6 for downloads and uploads at 37.9. So Galaxy's kicked it up a notch, uploads are slightly lower on that first round. Second round for the iPhone XS Max, we're looking at what? Download speeds, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Ooh, 54.4 for downloads and uploads at 38.8. While the Galaxy Note 9 is now pushing that a little higher as well as 67.1 for downloads and uploads at, let's see, it's coming in, coming in, coming in, 40.8.9. So it's pushed up the uploads and downloads on both ends on the second round. Now the third round of 7.15, the iPhone 10s Max is pushing up to 45.6 for downloads. Uploads are 37.7, and the Galaxy Note 9 uh, is running 66.0 for downloads and uploads at 39.5. So Galaxy wins all rounds here completely. Now, 1:45 a.m. in the morning, we should see some spectacular speeds less people in the network, and iPhone kicks it off at 88.1 for downloads and uploads at 54.3, while the Galaxy Note 9 crushes it at 158 for downloads and uploads, uh, pushing 54.2. And uh, let's see what Apple does here. Apple is doing second round, they're doing uh, 124, wow. That's great. And but downloads uploads at 54.2. While the Galaxy Note 9 does 140, say, hey, look, we can still take that lead with uploads of 58.6. Third and final round, can the iPhone beat the Galaxy here on this super max time? Doing, let's see, let's see, 93.6 for downloads and uploads at 50.7. And Galaxy Note 9 with that Qualcomm 845 chips that said, no, it's 128 for downloads and uploads at 48.7. So the Galaxy Note 9 crushed it, especially when you have that uh, speed and availability and that 845 chipset still reigns. Whoa, whoa. Now that was surprising. Apple has stepped up their game. Now it seems they're still using an Intel chipset, but the addition of the 4x4 MIMO and LAA has really done a good job. Now, the Galaxy Note 9 still won across the board. It still had the higher, higher speeds all around uh, in terms of download speeds, but the iPhone XS Max got better upload speeds in more occasions than not. And also the iPhone XS Max, I said plus, sorry, earlier, but XS Max actually got, um, beat the Galaxy Note 9 twice, but that's twice out of running roughly around like 20 something tests. Now, in terms of the max speeds, the iPhone XS Max got about 124 megabits per seven seconds for downloads, about 54 for uploads, at least that's the highest we got. And then the Galaxy Note 9, which is still king, King here, I remind you, got about 169. I have gone up to 180 in my neighborhood, just not with this test. Um, and uh, upload speeds of up to about 60 or 70. So this shows that yes, Gigabit LT is good. That's the first thing to note on, by the way. I'm glad Apple has updated their top tier devices like the iPhone 10 and the 10s Max. So those are two devices that will give you the kind of speeds you are seeing here or even better, depending on your location and all that kind of fun jazz. But right now for this video, the winner is still the Galaxy Note 9, but it's getting close. I would say basically, unlike before with, where the, I, the iPhone 10 lost by a 2X to 3X margin, now the, the iPhone 10s Max lost by a 1X map, man, 1X or 1, 1 1.5. I'll call it X margin. So good to see that Apple is updated. The Galaxy Note 9 still wins. If you don't like the results, you think, you know what? Nah, Thunder E, you're wrong. Let me know. Show me your test. Send me a picture. Send me a photo on, on, on uh, Twitter. Let me know what it is. Otherwise, if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Leave them down below with this video. Uh, don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification icon to get uh, notified with our latest videos. And this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment. Get Gigabit LTE.